Good morning, everybody. I know this is really impromptu this morning, but I just thought I would reach out and say hello. Um, I have returned to my study of applied kinesiology after taking a little break during the school year, and I am excited to get re-energized and restarted. And the first subject that I have opened up and reviewed um, recently it has to do with the ileocecal valve. The ileocecal valve is a valve within the intestinal system that separates the ileum from the cecum. And sometimes due to different factors like diet and stress, infection, mechanical causes, this valve can become stuck, either open or closed. And the problem with that is that it doesn't let things like poop through, and it can make you feel bad. The, um, some of the things you might see with a uh, closed or opened, abnormally closed or open ileocecal valve is things like big dark circles under the eyes, feeling toxic, feeling tired, um, having constipation, diarrhea, hip pain, jaw pain. It may mimic uh, gynecological things like ovarian cysts. Um, it can create changes to the skin. You know, when the bowel doesn't empty itself properly, toxicity has to leave the body some way, right? So one of the ways it does that is through the skin. Um, it, of course, can cause abdominal, you know, discomfort and bloating and pressure. And it can also be the cause of some really intense exacerbation of uh, low back pain. So somebody, for example, who has maybe a problem with the lumbar discs, uh, down below, which is otherwise fairly stable, if the ileocecal valve or even its companion valve, the valves of Houston, are stuck closed or open, it can actually cause a severe exacerbation of the disc, even if there hasn't been a mechanical injury like bending, lifting, twisting, that kind of thing. Um, so for some reason, the toxicity that builds up in the valve really affects the disc, and it feels like an incredibly sharp pain in the area. One of the things that um, Dr. Charles, who is my instructor in applied kinesiology, talks about is that for every back there's a front. So when somebody complains of back pain, you know, it's really normal for us to have them go face down at the table and to look at the structures of the low back and so forth. But he also says, you know what, make sure they start face up and check out these valves because they can be as much of an implication in low back pain or pelvic pain as the back itself. So today I'm challenging myself in the office to check everybody's ileocecal valves, everybody that I can. When this is checked, it's basically done very simply and non-invasively as much as you can with the valve. And that is there's a very gentle pressure that's put into the direction of the valve and we check with a functional muscle test. If it goes, um, if it goes weak, then we find the direction that we need to um, massage the valve in order for it to open or close um, however it needs to go. Uh, after that, there are some neurolymphatic reflex points that are massaged. Those are points that help to drain lymphatic, uh, tissue, uh, lymphatic uh, fluid away from the area and return it to the heart. So there are places that we're going to massage near the pelvis, uh, the shoulder. There are some acupuncture points, which are known as low points, L-U-O rather than L-O-W, um, as well as some chiropractic adjusting to do. Uh, particularly in the cervical spine and the lumbar spine at different uh, areas. Um, and so uh, in addition to that, by the way, uh, there's also a nutritional component. Uh, my attitude is like this, and maybe I do this a little differently than some, which is that if somebody comes to me with a specific something like this ileocecal valve and I find it once and I correct it and it's resolved, I generally don't add supplementation to them. You know, if the body can just fix itself on its own and it's fairly minor, awesome. But if I have somebody who, you know, continually over and over again has the same symptoms and we're not really getting anywhere by just doing the mechanical correction, I might recommend things like chlorophyll and okra, uh, enzymes, probiotics, uh, bentonite clay, uh, Spanish black radish, and other things to get the bowel moving properly again. Um, so that's going to be my attitude. Is like if the body can't fix it, you know, fairly soon on its own and it seems to be a repetitive thing, I'll, I'll add nutrition. Um, in addition to supplementation, there are also things like what can you do at home besides that in regard to your diet. And one thing is to like chill out on roughage and raw and spicy foods 
caffeine, um, cocoa, like chocolate and alcohol, uh, we tend to think of like when, you know, if your bowel is stuck and if you're constipated that you need more roughage, but actually it's sometimes the opposite that the body can't produce enough of its own pressure to push things out. So going with a more cooked diet, um, cooked or warm foods actually helps the body to recover better. So um, today is bowel day at the office. I'm going to check everybody's ileocecal valve as much as I can and keeping in time with our patient visits and see what we, uh, see what we find out. And um, I'm thinking maybe I'll come back later and tell you some of the things I found so that you know how this technique um, is helpful and what it can do for you. Uh, anyway, I saw some folks just join me and I'm really honored that you're here. Uh, I'm not going to take a whole lot longer. It's 8.30 and I'm starting with patients in about 15 minutes. But I don't know, I just kind of wanted to tell you what was on my mind and what I'm excited about today. Uh, before I sign off, does anybody have a question or something? Because I know my, my friends like to ask questions. Uh, if so, just go ahead and um, give me a comment here. Oops, I think there might be one comment. Let me just read real quick. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay. Well, that's okay. You know what? I'm going to do my thing today in the office. It's all about the ileocecal valve. And um, I'm going to hopefully hop on either tomorrow morning uh, or this evening if I still have the energy and uh, let you know what I found. So I hope everybody has a wonderful day today and that everything moves smoothly. Okay. Have a great day. Bye now.